Hey everybody, Todd McBride here with Rosenbauer here at the Minnesota State Fire Chiefs Annual Conference here in Duluth, Minnesota, alongside Neil Showstrom with Roseville Fire. Hey Todd, thanks for having me today. We're, uh, we're excited to be here and more importantly, we're really excited to be inside of our new RTX. Yeah, how about that? It's, uh, it's been quite a journey, but uh, we are excited to be, uh, to be here, have a truck that's done and, uh, and looking forward to starting to do our training on it and bringing this project to, uh, to full completion. Yeah, absolutely. So I know we had the truck at your open house last week, but let's maybe back up a little bit and, you know, how did we get here? I mean, what made you start looking at the RTX? Yeah, so it's uh, it's definitely been a long process for us. Um, our city has had some strong sustainability goals for uh, for a long time, um, and, and as I talked about at our open house, our mayor even brought up since the early 90s. Uh, and so our council in the last few years has simply asked the departments when we make large capital purchases to evaluate what options are out there that might be not a traditional replacement. And uh, that really started the journey for us to say, all right, um, are there some options that aren't the same thing we've been buying for years? And if there are options out there, do they fit the needs that we have as a department and the way that we operate? And so that, that process uh, about three years ago was when it started. That process put us in a place where um, you know, we kind of looked at the, the fire service market at the time and looked at what sustainable options were out there and started the evaluation process of what was currently on the market and available. Yeah, yeah. Now, certainly there's that side of it, but another big part of the, at least the open house last week that we talked about, that was a big part of your factor was what else can this truck do for the firefighters? And I know both the mayor and, uh, and the city administrator made a, a point about that as far as the ergonomics go. Yeah, so, so that became a big part for us as a department sort of on the, on the internal level. Um, you know, the, the drive to be sustainable um, is really what got us to opening up our opportunities or opening up our eyes to looking at something new and different. Um, and then we started to see that there were some really positive benefits um, when you looked at what was in the marketplace to the Rosenbauer product, right? Not just that it has an electric drive line and a sustainable um, plan from that perspective, but as you mentioned, the ergonomics. So step heights that are, you know, anywhere from 7 to 10 inches to get in and out of a cab instead of 24 inches, which we're used to. Um, you know, equipment that can be reached at the, your chest level or even below your chest level when we're lifting heavy extrication equipment. Um, and then even to the benefit of being inside this cab when we're driving down the road and having a conversation the same way you and I are having a conversation right now instead of yelling at each other to, uh, to plan out our tactics as we're responding to an emergency call um, all really became a big part of, of our benefit and I tell this to folks who ask all the time um, as much as the electric component of this truck is important and is a huge benefit, I think the ergonomic side of it and helping to take care of our firefighters from a, a wellness perspective is far more important than just an electric drive line for a, for a fire truck. Sure. And, you know, for the audience at home, the, the interesting thing is, you know, we're sitting in the cab right here. We're having somewhat of a meeting and the truck is running. And so I know you can't hear it in the background, but it is completely quiet. We hear a few things from outside. but. This is not something we would typically do on the fire scene. So, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of one of the nice things about the RTX is it is multifunctional. We do have a little bit of a command center here. We can get in and out of the elements. We can do the briefings. Uh, it's not something we would traditionally do with our conventional apparatus. Yeah, one of the things that we did was uh, sort of set up an area in, the, in this cab area that we're sitting next to to be designed for, uh, for our incident commanders. So if we can't be in our traditional command vehicles or one of our SUVs, um, we gave ourselves the opportunity to be inside of a quiet area, a space that's got a controlled environment like you said, which is where we run our incidents from uh, and keeps our folks out of those elements and we're not dealing with fighting with a diesel engine that's running right underneath us. Uh, you Again, you have that ability to focus and stay focused on what you're doing and not get distracted by noise and that's a, a huge benefit for us. Again, one of those things that we never thought uh, would be an option for us uh, now becomes a reality and a, and a great opportunity for us to explore and expand our operations into. And I think maybe a good thing for the viewers is maybe we'll just go out and do a kind of a walk around and kind of show them some of the features of the truck. But to that point, you know, right here I see, you know, we're in the back of the cab, we've got our MDT right here. You also have a remote display for the officer up there. So again, it just kind of opens up your flexibility uh, of being on the fire ground, whether you need to be in your chief's vehicle or you can just kind of hop in here and have a kind of a another area to run command. Yeah, it gives us that flexibility. Um, you know, not always are you going to have uh, one of us or one of the chiefs at every call that we go to, and this gives our crews that are on duty every day uh, that flexibility to be in a place that is conducive of good decision making and, and maintaining good situational awareness. Yeah, awesome. So let's uh, take a look at our front bumper. One of the uh, one of the benefits that we've had, we put some time into designing this, and we wanted to have a bumper that matched the rest of our fleet. So uh, from a deployment or operations standpoint, we can kind of keep things consistent. So. 
Um, we've got a front center hose well. This fits 100 feet of inch and three quarter hose line for us. And then all of our engines are equipped with some of our basic hand tools in the front bumper. So for a car accident, car fire, um, any type of incident like that, the firefighters can come right to the front of the truck. Um, they can grab whatever tools they need to start the mitigation process. Uh, it makes things a lot easier for us so we're not making trips around the side of the truck, out in the traffic areas. Um, and we were able to actually get this design with Rosenbauer. Really appreciated the effort that the engineering team put together to, uh, to do something that wasn't done yet and, and think outside the box to match our needs and match the rest of our fleet. So we took a look at the rest of the front of the vehicle here. Uh, just a couple more things that I'd like to share with everybody. Up top, we have our roof turret. Um, and one of the great parts about the RTX is that we can pump and roll at the same time. So we can use our roof turret as we're moving. One of the other things that Rosenbauer was able to do was tie our foam system uh, into that roof turret. So we have some unique hazards in Roseville. We have a couple of tank farms that supply uh, fuel all over the North Metro here in the Twin Cities area. Um, so we can actually connect to our foam trailer that brings 660 gallons of foam and we can draft the foam right out of the trailer into the truck and then use the roof turret to help lay down foam blankets for uh, a liquid fuel incident, which is a really great benefit for us. Uh, something we've never had before. Right below that, you can see the awesome brow lighting. So we talk about scene lighting and keeping things uh, lit for our firefighters. Uh, first time Rosenbauer was able to put together a scene light like this on the RTX and we're really happy with the fire tech lights and how they turned out with, uh, with providing a lot of scene light up front here for our firefighters when they're working. So the RTX brought uh, a totally redesigned concept for us from a pump operator standpoint. So, you know, we're, we're pretty happy with our fleet the way it was. We had some really good consistent design, traditional levers that you pull to operate. Um, something totally different here for us, but we're really excited to be taking a look at and starting to learn how to, uh, to use this LCS control system um, for all of our operations from this truck. Huge benefit is space savings, right? So all of the pump and truck operations happens right here. So this gave us the space we needed to put uh, our operator's air pack, their turnout gear, their helmet, everything that they have and need to carry with them in a space right here, along with more than enough space to store all of our adapters and fittings so that we have the necessary fittings for our operations and then operations in our mutual aid or auto aid department areas as well. And then as I talked about up front, we have that, uh, that roof turret that is connected to our foam system. And down over here is where we draft that foam into this truck so that we can get it up to the roof turret to make those large foam applications. So uh, again, Smaller space overall, but still able to meet all of our needs and get all of our equipment stored here in a nice uh, orderly fashion for our firefighters and for our operators each day. So we've made our way around to the rear of the truck. Uh, lots happening back here for us. We've never had a rear mounted uh, deployment method before for our hose lines. So all of our pre-connects are gonna be coming off of this area, one on each side of the truck, uh, which is different for us. We're excited about it, but again, uh, learning opportunities for us too. Um, in the back compartment, we have some area for accident cleanups. Um, our ground monitor lives back here as well. And then for accessing our compartments that are up top for some of our less frequently used items, uh, we have this great access ladder here on the back, which was one of the first that, uh, that Rosenbauer was able to put together for us. So this matches the rest of our fleet. All of our engines have a very nice, easy way to get to the top of the truck. Safe for the firefighters, easy to get up and down, bringing that equipment back down for us for a less used incident as well. well welcome to the top of our RTX. Uh, lots of things to look at up here. Um, first and foremost, I'm standing right above our water tank right here. So uh, one of the things that we, uh, we challenged Rosenbauer with was we wanted more than 500 gallons of water. Uh, we're definitely in urban settings, so we have lots of fire hydrants, but uh, we don't want to emphasize or overemphasize having to use those systems. We're used to 750 gallon water tanks, so we said, do what you can do to make things better for us, make things bigger for us. Uh, they took the challenge, they took the speed lays out of the truck, made the water tank a little over 600 gallons, which was a huge uh, improvement for us. We're happy with that addition. Um, and then up here next to the water tank is all this coffin storage space that we have. Um, so some of our less used items will find their way up here, things that we know we wanna have on the street with us when we go to calls, but probably not using every day. Uh, great storage for all that space up here. Um, and then just a quick look at our hose beds where all of our pre-connected hose is gonna be and some of our uh, bulk storage. Um, when we look over here, we have space for our inch and three quarter pre-connects, two and a half pre-connects. Um, and then we have a large 600 foot um, dead load, we call our skid load that lives over in this compartment as well, uh, making up you know, most of our fire attack package right over in this area. So this is our extrication compartment. Um, all of our engines have an extrication compartment with a full complement of extrication tools, airbags, all the things that we need. Um, space on the RTX is definitely a premium, but with some good thought on the forefront uh, in our design process, we were able to incorporate everything that we're carrying on our truck right now 
um, in the smaller package and still have some space left over. So when we look at our extrication equipment, uh, Rosenbauer was able to provide us with an example of something that we thought was really an incredible benefit to us operationally. So we have all of our new extrication tools, which are battery operated, that sit on this little swivel mount, bringing the tools out to a, a height that's actually easy for our firefighters to grab, bring this equipment out, it's natural, uh, good ergonomics so that we're not straining our backs or our arms, shoulders. Uh, we can get the equipment off and then we can get, get to work with it really quickly. It does have an extra turn that you can make to get all the way over here for easier reach as well. So super excited about how this compartment has come together. Um, our struts are on this nice tray, so everything can come out here for easy access to deploy it and keeps it in a nice area to be able to access it. Our last compartment on this side has our fire extinguishers for our crews to use, and then we just have some simple hand tools. Not everything is in this compartment yet for mounting purposes, but that's where we'll have uh, access to those tools to grab them really quick when the firefighters are deploying out of the truck to go to an emergency scene. So. Electric vehicle, electric charging, um, all that becomes an important part of this process for us. Infrastructure in our firehouse, so we had to do a little bit of work to get our fire station ready to, uh, to be able to charge the RTX truck when we got it. Um, but a little bit of fun here, so we can pop open this door, open up the door here, gives us access to our charge port. So our charger will be located right in the fire station where this truck parks right next to it for easy connection. Uh, best part about the RTX though is the, the uh, small diesel engine that's up top attached to a generator. So we have an EBU on this truck that provides us the ability to, uh, to continue to run on long operations for long durations of time. And uh, just like our traditional apparatus that are diesel powered, so long as you can bring diesel to the scene, we can keep operating for as long as we need to with that EBU running for us. Thanks for taking time to uh, walk around our Rosenbauer RTX. We're really excited to get this truck in service. Uh, we've got some really great training coming up here in the next couple of weeks. and. Uh, and our firefighters are eager to see this on the streets, getting to use it and serve our community. So appreciate your time today, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs>